Hello, 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 bonjour, barev, hola, konnichiwa, ni hao, guten tag, aloha, and ahoy. That's all the ways I know how to say hello. Hi. I apologize for the past week. <laughs> Let me start with that. Oh, God. Let me uh, and apologize for my mic arm being squeaky. I, I, I have WD-40 around here somewhere. Anyway, last week... Everything went to shit, <laughs> so I wanted to start off by apologizing for that. Uh, we streamed Longest Journey last week, and then Thursday, Thursday I had internet troubles, where my internet went at, like it was up and down for a bit, and I like I lost internet, I got it back, I lost internet, and I, and I didn't want to stream with that going on, so Thursday I had to push away. And then Friday, fri okay, this is mildly embarrassing to talk about, but I I am old and uh, can't swallow anymore. <laughs> I can't like I I can swallow things, food, uh, but there are instances where things will get stuck in my throat, and like I'm not choking because it's past the whatever it is the larynx whatever the flap is that like you're going to the lungs you're going to the stomach it gets past that but then it just sits there in my esophagus and doesn't move and like nothing can go down and nothing can go up and it's not that's not good first off and normally i can like get it to go away like walk around a bit and like mess with stuff take a sip of water do what i can do and it eventually goes and friday that was not happening and i ended up having to like relieve i had to like herk all of the stuff out it was not it was not good <laughs> it wasn't like a full throwing up everywhere kind of deal but it was still like you're a mess after that. You're shaking, just like, I can't do things. And so Friday got pushed back. And Saturday, I just felt like shit because I had pushed back two streams, and then I was still kind of like, I have one, I need to be careful as I eat, and all this other stuff. And I had a million things to work on. So it's just like Saturday was just like I was not in the headspace. Saturday got pushed back. So everything got pushed back. The entire week after Wednesday just fell apart, so I apologize for that. But during that time, I did finish up art stuff, which is what I want to talk about today. So if you all don't mind, if you're willing to go along with things with me, let's uh, move to my office, shall we? Let's move to my office. Welcome to the office. I have the whiteboard set up today because I want to show off all the stuff that we've gotten set up. We have emotes now. We have sub badges if you are subscribed. We have other things. There's still one that's being in, that's held up in approval, but uh, everything else is in. Everything else is approved. And I want to show it off because it's good stuff. So let's start. Let's begin at the top with the best things. And then we'll go downhill from there into just the shit. Uh, so let's start with the good things, which are the things that Liz made. Because <laughs> I paid her money. So uh, if you don't know Liz, she's a constant collaborator on this channel with me. And she does art stuff. So let's start with uh, my favorite emote, the animated emote. If you subscribe to the channel, you receive emotes, including this one, Slam. Animated crab slam emote came in at a good time. Yes, we're talking. I'm starting with the good stuff. So we're talking about the things that you made, Liz. There's Liz imploding zombie. I'll give a shout out in the chat so that if you are not following, you can. Typey, 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 type. I hope this works. It should work. There we go. Follow Liz. She does stuff. Buy art from her. Give her money. And let me just turn this music down ever so slightly. 
The best one is clearly the Crab Slam animated emote. You can use it for all of your wants and needs. Say you are in a chat and the streamer's like, oh, this is the thing. And you're like, I want that thing to happen. You, you crab slam the hell out of it. And you're like, I want this thing. I want this thing. And you slam, you slam about it. You bring in the slam, you do that. All right, that's its main use. You can use it for whatever you want. But that's what I think about it. So that's, that's one number one. I want to take my time with these, but I also want to go through them kind of quick because I want to play game. So happy you like the emotes? They're great. They're exactly what I wanted. Look back in the VOD archive when you sent me uh, the rough drafts of them, because I reacted live on stream of basic just cackling. Cackling to myself because they were that good. All right, what's the next one? I haven't set any of this up beforehand, so just prepare for an absolute shit show as I try to find... Where the hell is image? There we go. <laughs> Add image... Oh, uh, uh, calling it things in OBS. I don't even know what to call it in OBS. It's fine. It's fine. Another one of the Liz made emotes. Here we go. Buffering. Work on the portfolio as we speak. Ah, this is basically for when I am an absolute idiot. If I can't find something, if I don't know what's going on, if I am dumb, this is probably the emote that you're going to put up. Look, look at how it's, that's my face. That's my face. Not understanding at all what is happening, trying to figure out a puzzle and not realizing that the puzzle is already solved and I can go into the next room. That's what this kind of thing is. This is me lost, confused and stupid. That's that's the basic general purpose. Hold on to that for that one. Very useful. When somebody is dumb, you pull that out. Or if somebody says something that you're like, what the hell is wrong with you? Again, another thing that you're probably going to get a good amount of use of from me. Like, Teddy, what is wrong with you? What what did you just say? Pull out that kind of emo. Uh, what else? What else? What are the other Liz ones? Let me actually bring up the folder here so I can see things and choose appropriately. I think the only other one was that one, yeah? Got matching dumb? Oh, yeah, perfect. Well, you have the you have the thing on there. You have the, uh, the one, the, 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 the. Also, why the heck is Twitch chat not showing up on this scene? Twitch chat, you exist. Twitch chat. Why is it so tiny? What? What have I done? There you are. There you are, chat. Why are you this shape? Why are you this shape and so this so unbelievably small? Nobody can read you. There we go. I'm still gonna uh, make it like that because that's eventually gonna do something. Oh god. Bear with, like I said, I didn't plan any of this beforehand. I just was like, I want to do things. So, all right, you're eventually going to show up. You'll eventually make your way up. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. There's another thing. There's a thing in here that I'm going to show you. I'm just going to continue. I feel like I'm being educated with you to You are. This is the whiteboard. This is a place of learning. This is my office. We don't see my office very often, but I have it. I've had it for a long time. I used it for the Professor Tedham's moments, which I haven't done in a while and I should put them on TikTok. Sip! For when you are a smug asshole. This is the kappa of our stream. If you are smug, if you are a dick, or if I have done something incredibly stupid after you warned me, hey Teddy, that's dumb, don't do that, and then I do it and I die. And this is the, well, you're an idiot. How dare you? Why would you do this? You dumb, stupid streamer. Also, today's beverage. I have some plum wine with me. So if I go quiet for a second, I'm sipping some plum wine because I'm still a mess lately. <laughs> Such is how things are, but it shall relax me. So those are these are the good emotes. These are the best ones because these are the ones that I paid Liz actual real world money to get made. And they are 
everything I wanted. They are perfect. They are great. Let's move on to the garbage. Okay. Next emote that you can get if you subscribe to this channel. Let's see. Which one should I do next? I should do that one. That one's a good one. I mean, it's not. Well, I mean, it's good, but it's also not such as the way that I say things. <sighs> All right. Where are you? There you are. That. Click buttons. Find it in the thing. Bring it on the stream. What? What? This is my face. Staring at you. In a concerned manner. This is the what face. This is another one of those things where the streamer has said something that is just, what are you talking about? What? Are you okay? If you want to just stare somebody down. If you want to threaten somebody, you stare at them with this. And they will be completely intimidated because there is a red-haired anime man staring them down with big crazy eyes. That truly the most terrifying thing anyone can imagine. My god. Why? It's like that. So you have that for all of those wonderful purposes. It's literally just a screenshot of my face. There's another emote that you can get for subscribing to this channel for just giving five dollars of your money to Amazon. I will receive maybe two of those dollars eventually someday. You can get that emote. You can also get another screenshot of my face, which I edited purely, purely just because it seemed like the right thing to do. If there is ever an embarrassment of riches, here we go, we have the fancy emote. Yes, with the MS Paint monocle and top hat in the background. Do you want to be fancy? Do you want people to think that you're rich? Do you want people to think that you have enough money to buy a social media website and then drive it directly into the ground because either A, you don't know what you're doing, or B, a government hired you to do so and you're too much of an idiot to realize that they've played you? Then you can use this emote and you too can purchase a social media website for an exorbitant amount of money and no one will actually believe that you're smart. That is the purpose of this it's like if you want to be fancy if there's a whole lot of money on stream silver welcome in then you get this and you can be fancy so just that emote and then there is i think there's only one other regular emote yes there is the new one that has been has been put up very recently as of this weekend the brand new emote which i need to talk about in much more detail because it is used for multiple multiple things okay no not that oh boy uh but, but, but. you can tell that i that this is a running joke in the stream because i can't put the name that i want to put it in the uh, browser source in obs because that name is already used we got butter we got butter in the stream. Yes. For only $5 a month, you too can put butter wherever you want on the twitch.tv. Now, the reason that I wanted to talk about this more than the others, this isn't just an emote. This is also your channel points. Your channel points down below are now butter sticks. As you watch this channel, you will gain butter, and you can use that butter on me, which is what you all have always wanted. Okay? So you can't complain about the butter anymore, because it's everywhere. You get to use it as an emote. You get to build it up as the channel points. You get a whole bunch of the channel points. You can put the emote all over the place. Was that a request? I mean, people have said that they wanted a butter emote, that they needed a butter emote, because... It's just been the thing. Why is... I'm still... Twitch chat! What the hell is that? This is gonna be a minute. This is gonna be a minute. 
Oh god. Alright, hold up. This is gonna... We'll get there. I just gotta... I, okay. Yep. This is... This is where I live. This is what you can do. Alright, Twitch chat is fixed. On this! I might... Need to adjust this one. Anyway... If you want to use your butter, you can do this with it and spend an entire minute from this ever. <laughs> oh god! It's so much butter. It's so much stuff. Oh my god! Is it done yet? Is it done yet? It's still going. How is it? How does it go for so long? Ah. Oh. I'm okay. I'm okay. That was a lot. I need to adjust that. <laughs> oh, that works too well. Anyway, you get butter. That's the joke. Wish you could put custom items. Oh, but I can. There's already some custom items in there. There's already some things in there. Butter just hasn't been added yet. Trust me. I will. There will be butter. Don't panic. Anyway, that's, that's your butter that you get. That's your standard butter. That is your channel points. That is your emote. That is a whole bunch of things. Now, you may say to yourself, Teddy, Teddy, what if I want to support you even more? What if, what if I go above and beyond? What do I get when I do something like that? What if I give you more money? What if I give more money to Amazon and Jeffrey Bezos, even though he's no longer in charge of it, he's probably still siphoning money out of it. What do I get then? Well, if you subscribe at tier two, this one is still pending. It's under approval. I don't see any reason that it won't be put in, but uh, just note that it isn't up yet, but it should be. If it doesn't, I will just adjust it or something and we'll get it in there at some point somehow you get golden butter you get butter made of gold pure golden butter what does this golden butter do you ask I'm glad to say it. I'm glad to answer for you absolutely jack shit it does nothing but it is shiny and gold and it is worth at least two sticks of regular butter is golden butter. That is your way to just lord it over everybody else like I have better butter than you. The high grade, high quality, pure butter. Why am I? There's too much stuff going on. I'm starting to lag. So much butter. Now, you may ask, Teddy, that's great. Golden butter. But what if, what if I want to go even further beyond? What if I want to just be ridiculous and go for in the full tier three subscription? What, what, what do I get then? How can you top golden butter? Well, that's easy. That's so easy. You're going to feel like an idiot for asking that question. Because the answer to that question. Fucking diamond butter. The hardest butter known to man. You can only cut this butter with a butter knife also made of diamond. You can put this on your waffle. And you're going to have to heat that waffle to degrees found only inside the mantle of the earth. Then you can melt this butter down. What if I want to be personally responsible for giving you a meal with every month? Then you get diamond butter. Behold, look at this, look at that. Diamond, diamond butter. Minecraft in my butter, it is more likely than you would think. Look at this, it's delicious. It tastes like throwing your money away. Do you want to show everyone on Twitch that you are completely financially irresponsible and that you should not be trusted with a credit card? 
you can subscribe at tier 3 and get Diamond Butter. This one's already approved. You can do this right now. It's there. It exists. To prove it to you, look at this shit. I just put it in the chat. Diamond Butter. Now, no matter what tier you subscribe as, there are also badges. Subscription badges that I can show off to you. Because I finished those over the weekend after I did my throwing up on Friday. I finished those. <laughs> so, as some of you may have already noticed inside the uh, inside the chat, you have a little badge, you have your subscription badge, and right now it doesn't look like much. It doesn't look like much of anything. Because it is the very first thing. It is the base. And so it is just... If I can find it here, here you are. The base is just this little guy. You start off with this. What is this? Is this the curvature of Mars? No, no, no. You'll see as you go along. It is a small thing. It is small. It is small. I'm just pulling up the images that I literally just uploaded onto Twitch. So the biggest the image is, is like 72 pixels wide. So it's going to get a little bit uh, janky as I expand it on the screen here. <clears throat> but you begin with this. This is the beginning phase of your carcinization. You begin with this. Then at two months, I believe it is. Move this out of the way. Put you over here. I think it's two months. I'm pretty sure. I already forget, but when I look at the... Uh, look at the file names. <laughs> It'll be clear to me. Uh, no, 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 no. Where are you? Where did you go? Two months. Yes. At two months. This happens to you. And you gain eyeballs. That is so very pixelated. Was this the 72 one? What? No, this is the 72 one. There we go. I used a smaller one. No wonder it got extra pixely. You get at two months, you get eyeballs. Then you can see. Then you can actually watch the stream that you're subscribed to. Look at that. Two months. That's the next phase of your carcinization. What happens, Teddy, when you hit three months? I'm glad to answer that for you. And I'll answer it for you as soon as I actually get the thing in OBS. In three months, you move on to the next phase of your carcinization. You get a happy little mouth. You get a happy little mouth. This is probably the smallest change from month to month, but it's also one of the most important. Because look at that face. He's so cute. He's adorable. Look at that. That's you at three months subscribed to this channel. But Teddy, but Teddy, Teddy, well then what? What happens next? What, what occurs past three months? How can you become even more of a crab? Paul, oh, that's six months. What happens at six months, Teddy? Paul, oh, you're not going to hold on to your fucking butthole because it's going to be a whole thing at six months. There it is. You get a claw. Put that little claw in the corner. Six months, you get a claw. Claw number one. Then you can go on the attack. You can attack things. You can grab stuff. It is an opposable claw. You can start picking things up. The cute little claw, cute little smile, cute little eyes. Carcinization, still not complete though. No, 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 no. You are not fully a crab until at about nine months in. Like, like any good pregnancy or bad pregnancy at nine months, that is when you are basically a full crab. And you gain your big claw. At nine months, you gain the big claw. And then you have two claws. And you have become a full crab. That's what happens at nine months. There might be some adjustments to these. Liz has made some good suggestions as to stuff that I can do with these. I just haven't done them. I may not do them. Depending on how lazy I am, I would like to do them, but I know myself. 
so who knows? But this is what happens at nine months. Teddy, what happens when you hit a year? Oh, you're already a full crab at a year. What, what can you possibly add to this to make it even better? I'll tell you what you can add to this. When you are a full crab and you have been subscribed to this channel for a year, if I actually manage to continue streaming on Twitch.tv for an entire year and you stay for the whole thing, you get a gosh dang party hat. And you join the party. Welcome to the crab rave. And then I do have ideas for years following that. Two year, three year, etc. I, I have I have plans for it. There will be different different crabs. We'll change the color of the crab. There's so many different things that I can do. You can become a blue crab. You can become a king crab. You can become a coconut crab. I have ideas on how to make all of those things happen. So year by year, you will change from one kind of crab to another. You will continue to be this cute. You will continue. You will always be adorable. You will be adorable little crabs. You'll be fully carcinized. It's not going to be that different from this, but you'll be able to tell at a glance this person has been here for however many years because they are this kind of crab. So that's what's going to happen when you are here for an entire year. Let's hope I can not get thrown off of this website before then. I think that's everything. Is that everything? I think that's everything. I still need to make bit emotes of like, if you give enough bits, you get some extra emotes that you can toss in. But these are the base ones. Those are your subscription badges. Those are your emotes. The golden butter is on the way. It is hopefully going to be approved sometime soon. But you have all those. You have Crab Slam, our animated emote. You have two other emotes made by Liz. Imploding Zombie in the chat. Imploding Zombie over on the Twitter, on the Twitch follow her do stuff there you have the two images of my face you have so much butter and you will become as crap you will carcinize the longer that you are here that's all that stuff there might be adjustments to these things because i did reach out to another person in the hopes that they would make the butter emotes for me but they never got back to me on things because they are extremely busy so if they do decide that they want to do it, they will hopefully upgrade the butter, but that's up to them. If not, we'll continue with the shit that I made. <laughs> this is what we have. This is the stuff. This, these, are, these are my thanks to you for following the channel and getting me to a point where I can actually have these and start like doing stuff on here. And I wanted to make them good. I wanted to make them good. I wanted to make them useful. I wanted to make them cute. The cute badges, I feel like, are something that people would want. Happy little crab thing. The emotes that Liz made are perfect. I want Crab Slam to be used everywhere. I'm already using it everywhere because I love it. The butter is just the dumbest thing. And if you get it, congratulations, you've thrown your money away. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy all these things. With that... That's all this stuff. So let's uh, move on over to the next part of the stream. Let me get all my stuff together. Oh, God. Now I have to move everything around on my desktop and get us ready to play a video game. Because we're going to continue with the longest journey. So let me... Uh, thank you for the showcase. You're welcome. Thank you for the subscription and the followers and all the other stuff. Let me change. Let me change the stream description. Dun, dun. Long, long journey. I feel is a good title. Here we go. The longest journey. I can't type for the life of me. You have no idea how many times I have tried to spell journey. Thank you, autofill. <laughs> This is a mature rated video game that may not be suitable for some viewers. Thanks, Twitch. There we go. Title updated. Everything should be good now. Hopefully, either that or everything's going to be on fire. Who knows? All right. Video game? Video game. Video game. 
video game. Funcom. Lagging a bit as stuff tries to catch up. Gonna make an age joke, but I know someone who got permit for that? What? <clears throat> I I mean, I'm I'm old. I know. I understand. Why am I Am I okay now? Is it because I put too many things in OBS? I think I put too many things in OBS. Hold on. Let me let me tab out. Oh god, you can see part of my blah blah blah. blah. It's fine. It's because I put a whole bunch of things into OBS, and OBS is like, what have you done? We just get all of those out of here. There we go. Lurk it up and enjoy the gentle carcinization process. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You enjoy that. Oh, they joked that they were seven. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, don't don't mess with that joke. Uh, they, yeah. Like if some if that was the first thing that somebody said in my channel, I would bop them. I know if you made the joke, I know full well that you were older than that, so that's not the case. But huh? okay, begin the journey. Continue the journey. Am I lagging behind now? Am I lagging behind? I don't know what's happening anymore. Continue the journey. Where did I stay off? This. I think we're okay. Welcome to the scuff, where my frame rate just tanks. Where am I? I have no idea. I'm there. Kind of unsettling to be so aware of myself all the time. You got Bob while the streamer was offline. Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah, that would do it. Why do I still seem like I'm? No. Me? Am I okay? I feel like I'm jankier than usual. We'll see what happens as I go through the game. What can I even click on? What can I even look at? Elevators are over there. Oh, elevator tubes. Those elevator tubes provide access to the mid and upper levels of Newport. I'd need proper ID before I could use them, of course. Okay, I need proper ID. Understood. I'm going to like a movie place, I think. Yeah. Metro Circle. Gloriously decadent. I hear Bingo's planning to buy the whole thing, convert it into a theme park or something. I'll believe it when I see it. Here's a fun fact about this game. Uh, it screws up my fonts <laughs> in almost everything. OBS looks fine. All the fonts there are fine, but anything on Chrome or Discord, the font just gets really, really janky looking. It's readable. It's just weird. Sex to see. <gasps> you gotta be 13 or older for this one. Sex to see, sexual fantasy. Just the thing I need to feel really depressed about my love life. VR porn. We have that now. Welcome to the future. Metro Circle, East Gateway. I can't talk to any of these people. I can't catch the flying taxi. I guess I'm going to the East Gateway because there's nothing else. Where? Come on. Subway? No, not Subway. I've been to the Subway. Can I go to the East Gateway? Can I double click? Where am I? Now I'm very low. Oh, there I am. Metro Circle's that way. Okay. Run to the liquor store. Of course, that's the it's first the thing store. I do. Can I talk to this guy? This guy's the reason they invented the phrase, hitting the bottle. And he's hitting it hard. Well, at least he's not doing amethyst. That's the perfect time to talk about how, once again, I have plum wine right now. <sighs> Very tasty. Um, there was a... Oh. She's there now. She's going... Oh. 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 We've witnessed something, and I was looking away. Huh. That happened. This guy passed out outside the club. There's a dealer outside place. the club. Not my crowd, though. 
I think he's selling something. Counterfeit. Triple strength raptures, probably. Highly addictive and guaranteed to blow your mind. Literally. That seems uh, not like a good plan. Let's go down the street. Oh. Perfect. No parking. Go get fun drugs. No. I can't. I can only look at the man. Fat guy. Hi, fat guy. This guy looks like he works at the theater. You don't know that. He could be sweeping the street for fun. Hello, large gentleman. Excuse me. Yes, huh? Oh, jeez. Hold on there one second, lady. Dang, Marquis. Light up! Good. Now Percussive stay maintenance. that way, you hear? God, he's me. <laughs> Just smack the thing and yell at it to do what it's supposed to do. That's how it usually works. Do you work at the theater? Do you work at the theater? Yes, um, I'm Freddy. Freddie Mellon. My Mellon. mama, Mrs. Dottie Mellon, she owns the theater. His name is yep, Mellon. I reckon she does, uh-huh. Uh-huh. She owns it, and she be running it by her own self, like a, a real proprietor. I reckon I help out some, of course. Yep. And what do you do, sir? Triple-A voice acting right here. I'm the usher. This is... And I also takes care of it's sweeping. Like, it's like I'm down at the bayou. After the show, my mama, Mrs. Dottie Mellon, she says she reckon I'm a regular I'm jack of all story, trades. Aren't I? I'll tell you what, uh -huh. I think she's right about that. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. You tell me what. Do you know a man named Cortez? Do you know a man called Cortez? No. I can't say as I does, lady. Ain't never met him. Now, I reckon I'd like to get on with my sweeping, uh huh? Limes well, is like a box Are you of sure chocolates. You don't know him? I swept it Look, off on lady, the sidewalk. I reckon you you should just mind your own bee's knees and get. <laughs> oh. I told you, I ain't seen Cortez today. You said you didn't Dang. know Cortez. I I reckon I don't know nobody by that name. So so I tell you what, I'd mighty but appreciate hey, it if you'd stop bothering me and let me get on with my work. Jesus, Mary, and baby Joseph, I reckon the whole dang world is wants to find <laughs> Cortez today. Oh, other people want Cortez. <gasps> is the theater open? Is the theater open now? No, I reckon it ain't, lady. It don't open till this evening. Ain't nobody in there either. I reckon that wouldn't be legal. Thanks, is anyway. That, is that your way of telling yes, me so that you have illegal goings on what? going on in there right now? You go on now. And let Freddie Mellon do his sweeping before his mama, Mrs. Dottie Mellon, get all P-I-S-T off. Oh. Oh, he, oh, he spelled out the big P word. You want to go for a W-A-L-K? Trash can. Always check the trash can. <gasps> I can take the trash can. Just trash. No, 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 no. You don't give me a hand icon and then say it's just trash. We're taken. You stick your hand in there. Oh, you're pushing. Lady, don't you keep playing with that thing now, you hear? What the heck? Leave it be. It is a known fact that if you move a trash can in the city, this is what's underneath of all of them. I can pick it up? That's not right. Green ooze. Ugh. <laughs> Pick it up. Lick it. <laughs> you just... You just stick your hand directly into it. it. Smells like kerosene. You put your hand directly into the green ooze. Lady. April. 
What the hell is wrong with you? Conspicuous guy. He actually looks like a friend of mine, which is that weird. That guy's so conspicuous, he's got to be a cop on a stakeout assignment. Oh, my friend would be very mad that I compared him to this guy. Then. <laughs> my friend that he looks like, uh, he is... Oh, that's the squeaky mic arm again, sorry. He is uh, the, the front man for a punk band. Uh, and the band is entirely made of guys who are... They gotta be in their 50s now. But... <laughs> He, he would be very bad to be compared to a cop. Hi there. Having fun? Didn't your mother teach you not to talk to strangers? This is a point-and-click adventure game. I'm, I'm an orphan. orphan. Yeah? Well, all the more reason for you not to talk to strangers. Now get lost. Why, why are you dressed like... Are you a cop? Why are you dressed like a cop? You have to cop? tell me if you're a cop. What do you mean, why am I dressed like a... Hey, wait a second. What's it to you? You a cop? Just trying to do my bit for the boys in blue, sir. You look like a cop, so if you're on a stakeout or something, you should try to blend in a little more. Go native! Yeah, how? I don't know. But that trench coat... It sort of gives it away. Perhaps a pair of blue jeans and one of those I'm with stupid t-shirts might help. Hold on. Let me get this down right. Hey, wait a second. What am I doing? Who the hell do you think you are? The NPD fashion consultant? Is that supposed to be funny, ma'am? Are you a comedian or something? Because oh, I'm I thought you laughing. looked like a cop. I'm cop. not even smiling, am I? Now get your ass out of here and don't bother me again. Is that a threat? Damn right it's a threat. That's it? That's all you got? Okay. That's fine. So I can't go in yet. Mercury. They left out the theater bit. But maybe that's self-explanatory. I mean, it should be. Oh, alley door. That door leads back into what looks like an alleyway behind the theater. Well, clearly that's where I need to go. Sketchy alleyway behind a theater. Nothing bad ever happens there. Just ask Bruce Wayne. It's locked. Damn it. Can I go this way? There's nothing this way. Wait a minute. Nope, there's nothing. I thought there was something, and I was incorrect. Okay. So we have kerosene on the ground. We have a very conspicuous cop. Box office is closed. We have a poster. A Welsh ghost story, written and directed by Ragnar Tornquist. I saw that. It's a classic. Can't understand a word of it, but it's a good movie. Women in dire need of medical attention. I thought that was a porno. Uh, I guess it's just an artsy foreign flick. As long as they speak French, it, it can't be smut. Does this mean that if I watch JAV, it's art? Is hentai art? Which one am I talking about? Of course it is. It's locked. Damn it! Let me into your movie theater. I need to talk to Cortez. All right, so clearly I need to go back and find things because this is a point and click adventure game and I need to mess up everybody's life before I can do one simple thing. To the subway, no. I can only look at the club. I think he's selling some. I can't do anything with the dealer. To Metro Circle. Is Metro Circle different than where I was before? Before I was at Subway, subway, right? No, this is Metro Circle. This is what? I can't go into the elevators. I mean, I can try. It said I need a proper ID. I want to go visit Texasy. Oh, hello, <laughs> cop with transparent broken textures. Hi. It's a police officer. Oh, dear. We'll never see him coming. Is the worst Robocop. Elevator doors. This is one of the smallest cross-level elevators I've seen. The big ones can carry up to 100 people at a time and they go way fast. I've never been inside one, of course. Of course. What, only, what kind of a monster would go inside of an elevator? Hold it! You're not taking this elevator. 
But I have to go up there. But I have to get up there. That's what they all say. But without proper identification, I can't let you through. Well, you don't have proper arms. That's not fair. And it's about to get a whole lot less fair unless you step away from the elevator. Uh... Did you just reload at me? Excuse me, sir. Stop being a realistic cop for a second. How do I get permission How to go through? How do I get through? permission to go through? Only citizens of mid-level status or above are allowed to use these elevators. I guess you're new to this city or you'd know that. Uh, yeah. Fresh from the countryside. You do look like a farm girl, it's true. Hey, watch it! I bet we can't help that you look like a bumpkin. How do you get mid-level status? Mid -level status? Birth, money, marriage. Much like you and me, miss. We're stuck here. Speak for yourself, schmuck. Having flashbacks to Metropolis. The old, old, like, 1920s film. Which, if you're a massive nerd like me, or went to film school, you know what I'm talking about. What's up with, the cops, up with the cops in this city? I'm so angry. I'm sorry? I mean, when you arrest people, you read them their rights, and then you sell them products. What? It's all part of the job, miss. The police department is a subdivision of the Bokemba Mercer Company and the Bingo Corporation. They pay our bills. Doesn't that constitute a conflict of interest? Not if we don't arrest any employees of either company. That makes so not sense. This game predicted the future. Just when you're faced with the prospect of getting the boot, miss. I have kids, and I'd like to see them through college. This game predicted Thanks, the future. Officer. We're here to protect, serve, and to inform you of the fantastic range of products offered by Bokemba Mercer and Bingo, manufacturers of the world's favorite soft drinks and handguns. Flavor with a bang! Oh my god, okay. Soft drinks and handguns? This is America. I'm home. Okay, well, can't do anything here. Cross the bridge. How do I get into the illicit activity going on in the movie theater? Like, subway is just gonna take me to the subway station, yeah? No! No, it puts me on the subway itself, and I didn't want to be here. Radio power building, metro circle. Wait, radio power building. Have I been to the radio power? Where is that? But I needed to go to Metro Circle, didn't I? I mean, that's where that is. Let's let's visit this. Oh, the radio power building is just here. Oh, I just I walked here. Did I really take the subway one stop? Never take the subway one stop. Just walk. It's like three blocks. What are you talking about? Why would you do that? Metro Circle. What would what, 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 what do? Nothing for me to pick up. Nothing for me to talk to. How do I get into your horrible establishment? The Maltese Falcon. Oh, yeah! I remember this one. It's a Disney cartoon with a falcon who, um, goes looking for a black cauldron. It, it's got singing mice in it, I think. I mean, don't they all? Um, it's true. It's true. It's not a good movie unless it has singing mice in it. Or at least a mouse underneath a hat. You've gotta have the ratatouille effect for things to be truly good. How do I get into your terrible place? It's not open till night. What can I do for you, Mia? Thanks, anyway. Yes, yeah, some. I'll tell you what. You go on, you go on me. now. <laughs> and let Freddie Middleton do his. Yeah. Alright, I can hit escape to get out of conversations. Good. Nowhere else I can go. Oh, there's a fuse box. Never mind. There is a thing I can interact with still. Hello. <laughs> I'm sure this isn't going to cause any box. problems. Shh. 
There's something wrong with the power in that box, and it looks like the theater marquee is connected to the same switch. It Ooh. keeps flickering on and off. Oh? Let's mess with it. Kick it. What do you need to open it? Hey, keep your hands to yourself. That city property, ma'am. What are you, a cop? So I need to get you to go away. Hello again. Christ, don't you ever quit? What is it now? I need you to walk to the other side of town. Don't you get tired of hanging around here all day long? No, ma'am. So you're completely fine. There's nothing you'd want. I mean, there's a wonderful pile right. of green ooze just right there nothing that you could all? be sticking your face into. Nothing at all. Not even a bite to eat? Just had a full lunch, ma'am. Thanks for asking. You don't want a sandwich? You just had lunch? So you just had lunch. You want another sandwich? That's right. That cool cow. You want a donut? What did you have? A triple whammy cow patty with a side order of grease onions and a large bingo cola. No ice. What about fries? And a double order of cheese and fried taters, yeah. <laughs> Tastiest <laughs> damn fries you're ever likely to find. Soaking in melted goat cheese. Huh. And you had this when? I can see that. Well, about an hour ago. You want another? And you don't feel, um, the urge to go? No, ma'am, no. My bowels are genetically enhanced and require only perfunctory attention. The burger filled you up good? What? You don't have the munchies? Well, now you mention it, I have a craving for sweets. I didn't have time for my usual cool cow strawberry pie with whipped cream, chocolate sauce, and a scoop of ice cream. Wait a second. What am I telling you all this for? Who the hell are you anyway? Hey, get out of here, ma'am. Right this minute or else... Is this a threat? What, what, I are think you that was a threat. Are you genetically modified bowels on a me? What, what are you going to do? Ma'am. You going to throw a bang cola at me? All right. So if I can lure you away with sweets? Maybe? Where do I get sweets? At the diner. Where was this diner? I've already forgotten. It's the liquor store. Metro Circle. What was the cool cow? Where's the cool cow? The club. Where's the cool cow? What is the cool cow? I cannot walk to the cool cow from here. There is no cool cow. Metro Circle doesn't have a cool cow. It has elevators. Could go for goat, goat ice cream and cola pie. Hell yeah. Do, is the cool cow somewhere else? It was an hour ago. He could have taken the subway. Cool cow. It's not the radio power building. Metro Circle is like a stop away from there. in East Venice, maybe? Cool cow here. Options. Save game. Here. Okay. Resume game. Where is the cool cow? The light has lost its mind. Cool cow. That's not the place that we work, right? It's the academy. Nothing adds more to the. No, 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 not that bridge. The other bridge. Go to the other bridge, so that we can find our way to the cafe. Is it the cool cow cafe? Is that where we worked? I don't remember things. No, the fringe cafe. Where's the cool cow? Anyway, we'll figure that out in a couple seconds. <laughs> Not a couple seconds, a couple a couple minutes. Because it is that time. I'm going to take a quick three-minute ad break. Oh, God! So now's your time to stand up, stretch, do whatever you need to do as I get back into the game here. And we will be back momentarily.
Okay, I'm back. That was actually perfectly timed. So I stood up, went to refill my drink. I don't have plum wine this time. I've swapped out the plum wine for the last bit of the cola that I have with some amaretto in it. By which I mean it was the very end of the two liter bottle. So it is mostly a mug of amaretto with a little bit of Pepsi in it. That's That's what it actually is. That's the truth of what we're looking at. But, uh, welcome back, everyone. I hope you did whatever you needed to do. Let's continue with this game, shall we? Okay, I don't know where the cool cow is. Do we have sweets? I don't technically need, like, sweets from the cool cow, do I? Hey, Charlie. You want to help a girl out? I'm glad yeah, you're here. Hi. I need somebody to talk to. Yeah, me too. What's going on? I need pie. Weird, Weird stuff has been stuff. happening to me. Doesn't it always? Not like this. I was convinced they were hallucinations, after effects of my dreams. But yesterday and last night? Last night? That's incredible. Me too. What happened to you? What happened? You haven't heard anything about what happened to you last night? No, tell me. Around 11 last night, I was working the bar and, well, I couldn't see how it started, but the music suddenly changed and the place went dead quiet. Uh-huh. I walked over to the far end of the bar. Something, it, it wasn't human, definitely not like any human I've ever seen just appeared out of the thin air where the jukebox is, playing an instrument. At first, it didn't seem to notice anyone. Everyone stood there Seder? watching it, dead what? silent. Is it a pan flute? Then it looked up, and then it just disappeared. Everyone was staring at the jukebox, and then Mr. at each Tumbus? other. And then things just went back to normal. It was as if they all chose to block it out. It was scary, girl. I couldn't get the image of that creature out of my mind. Huh. And the look on its face. Was it, it a was tree? Real, that's for sure. Or a dragon? Because I've seen those. you and me, but different. Now I want to hear your story, April. What happened? This is going to be hard to believe, but it's true. I swear to you. I mean, you. he just told you about meeting Mr. Thomas. So I think you're fine. You, girl. Last night, I came home. Oh, and come Mickey back. And Fiona Liz, were just back. Screen, so I joined them. We watched Talked a documentary about the rainforest. I'm hoping to get some pie out of him. And, and... What happened? The room turned into a jungle. I need to make a cop go Are away. Are you serious? So I need some kind of sweet. No, I'm lying to you. Of course I'm Who sure. Pie? I was there. Fiona was there. Mickey. We all saw the same thing. A jungle. But only for a split second. Then it was gone. Just like that. And it wasn't like You're a hologram. Jungle, it was more baby. real than that. It smelled right. The air was thick and humid and and it didn't feel synthetic like those shows they have. It felt real. The worst part was it looked familiar. Like something from a a dream. <gasps> I recognized the place and I recognized the emotions I had being there. Is the jungle from, from your dreams? Where? You're the chosen one. Like I said, from dreams and from experiences I've had these past few days. Strange stuff, scary stuff, but I'd rather not talk about those experiences now. None of this has anything to do with I pie. Understand. I need wow. just pie. Heavy. Not this conversation. It's amazing how similar our stories are. And it scares me because have you considered the possibility you've been drugged, Charlie? It's the entire city been drugged? Experiment? You prefer that to the alternatives? That we're going crazy? Or that there's actually something... Something going on. Something we can't understand. You think those alternatives are better? I can't tell you, April. All I know is the experience was as real to me as yours was to you. And to a lot of other people. Thanks for continuing that conversational storyline and voice line. Mind if I ask mind you a few questions? I ask you a few questions, Charlie? Do you have pie? Why would I mind, girl? Pie! None of this is pie. Thanks, Charlie. Can I order pie? <gasps> K 
Candy jar. Candy jar? Complimentary candy for paying customers only. Stan has a habit of taking it out of your salary if you, um, get the munchies. You took a piece of candy. How could you do that it's for the customers? I'm Take sure it. Stan won't notice if I dig gently into his supply. He's got crates of these in the back. I have counted the candy extremely. I know every piece of candy that is here. Hole in the shoulder is bugging you. Yeah, there's some missing textures. It's fine. We got a piece of candy. We got... This is not a single piece of candy. This is four pieces of candy. He's going to notice. Assorted candy. Colorful. No doubt also extremely toxic. Candy. That's all I needed. I needed sweets. This'll do. Right? I hope this'll do. Because I'm not... Clearly I'm not getting pie here. And this is the only place that seems to have food. In the entire city. So... Yeah. Who is taking the complimentary candy? Make a suggestion before you leave the area? Yes, please. Am I about to walk away from something that I shouldn't walk away from? You may you may tell me such things. M light minor backseating is okay in such situations. What is your suggestion? There is bread in the cafe. Oh. Breb. Alright, let's get breb. Let's go back. Breb. It's not what the detective wants. Bread plus candy equals cake? You're not correct, but also it's worth a try. Well, I'm not getting it out of Charlie, so let's go over here. Oh, unlimited breadsticks! This guy's also wearing a trench coat. You a cop? Apparently only cops wear trench coats. Fresh bread. I love the food in this place. We have a great kitchen. Who told you that the bread was free? You're not allowed to take bread. I take this out of your paycheck. Breb. We have achieved baguette. Hom hom. It's a loaf of freshly baked bread from the cafe. Oh, it's a full loaf. Hell yeah. All right, we got breb. We got candy. Can I make candy bread? Can I, can I, can I, please? There we go. Candy, grab. Mine? No? Okay. Worth a shot. Run to the park, run to the subway, go back. Make cop go away. But he has... He has special bowels. So... I need to do something more than just give him candy to make him go away. It was like... He said he's got special bowels. He can eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. And he never needs to poop. I guess... I don't know. Maybe it just knits a new piece of trench coat for him out of his body. Maybe his trench coat is made out of the atoms of what would be poop. And it just gets longer and longer the more he eats. Like a snake in the snake game. But a trench coat on a cop. Till one day he's just walking down the street with a whole ass cape behind him. So I need to do something to this camp. I have an idea. This is a stupid idea, but it's an idea. Also because there's only like three things that I can interact with currently, so <laughs> my choices are kind of limited. Could I just eat the candy? 
dunk it in some kerosene. We now have trash candy. Oh! Oh, God! Stinky candy! It's only one piece. I got to keep the rest of it. You want a piece of stinky candy? You want a piece of stinky candy? It smells like the trash can. Oh, you want it? You want it? Yeah, you do. Special candy. Can your bowels Would you like handle this? Hey, yeah. That'll hit the spot. Uh, yeah, it'll hit something. What the hell? The taste. I'm sickening. I feel kind of Christ. No, 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 no. You're supposed to hey, leave, what? not just throw up. What the hell do you think you're doing? Did you just throw a rock at my head? Now, I'll tell you what. Wait, what? You shouldn't have done that. I reckon that was a bad mistake. It, wait. You threw a rock at him? Wait, it's, it's throwing up. What are you. What? This is not at all what I expect. What is happening? What the hell is this game? Alright, cop's gone. <laughs> you should have seen him run, lady. I reckon I ain't never seen nobody run that fast. Oh, he projectiled the candy. His buttocks like I didn't he even had notice. No runs or something. <laughs> he, he even lost his stupid old hat in the gutter. <gasps> Take that. <laughs> I ain't never seen anything that funny in a while. Life is like a box of chocolates. Sometimes it makes a cop explode down the street. Where's the hat? I want the hat. You better let me take the hat. Where's the hat? There's the hat. Give me the hat. It's that detective guy's hat. <laughs> he must have lost it running away from Freddie Mellon. Oh, oh, is this for me? Oh my God! Walk faster. <laughs> Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Put a hat on my head. What are you doing? Where are you going? No. Back here. Put it on. Wear the hat. I hate you, April. You had the chance. You had the chance. Combine hat and bread. It's not going to let me, but I'll do it. I'll do it for you. Detective Loaf. Detective Loaf refuses to exist. We almost had Detective Loaf, but this game is too afraid. All right, open the fuse box. Now that he's gone. I know, it's sad times. It is the saddest thing possible. As the detective just ran down the street going... Caution. Is that like a general caution, as in life caution? Life should carry a big yellow caution sticker. It's certain to kill you sooner or later. I mean, yeah, but not... It's some not kind of locked. Yellow. Caution. Oh, uh, no. It's a zigzag lightning bolt. I just love that word, zigzag. Really? You, you have... Okay. Um... I do not have anything key-shaped. I have a hat. Candy? It's candy. Shove some candy in the lock. No? Okay. What would work in a lock? I need a key. I need something key shaped. Can I push pin the lock? No. Also, it gives me mouth. Eat, eat some candy. Oh, God, it's awful. It tastes like mouthwash. It's mint. Get over it. Sticky candy. I got glue. I got point and click adventure glue. Chew the bread to key size. I'm not particularly hungry. I am not allowed to eat the bread. 
It's some kind of keyhole. It's some kind of keyhole. Well, that's just great. Where the hell do I get a key? It's locked. Yeah, it's locked. Hey, Freddy. Do you have anything new to say to me that I've scared away the detective man? Hi. What can I do for you, Mia? Thanks, anyway. Yeah, some. You have nothing new for me, okay. So I need a, some kind of key shape. In, well, not... I need a, like, square-shaped thing to go into the keyhole. I don't have anything square-shaped. I have sticky candy. Uh, maybe I can use that with the work glove? To complete the... fix the hole in it? No? Okay. What could work as a key? There's not anything around... I wonder if he has the key. Because he's definitely got jangling keys going on. Uh, don't look around. Look a square. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> It's actually kind of the perfect music to have in the background for that. Where can I find a square shaped thing? Did the detective run anywhere else and leave anything else behind that I can grab? That'd probably be helpful. Elevators, bridge, there's nothing there. Hmm. Anyway, where the Why will you not allow me to go to the place? Why do I have to do that to get back to here? Some kind of something. Where can I get a thing to unlock that? Oh, wait a minute. I thought maybe I could take the screw out and that it would be square shaped and instead I got a very disturbing monkey moment. Very disturbing monkey moment. What's this? Matchbook? That's not going to get me anywhere. Diary? That's not going to fit in a hole. Hat is not going to fit in a hole. Hat. Maybe I can just stick the gum in it? Like, I don't know where else I can get things. I don't remember anything immediately obvious in, you know, the other places in the city. Can I go to the fuse box, please? Fuse Thank you. Box. Game doesn't always register my clicks. Okay. Can I sticky candy the thing? No. That doesn't help me. Yeah, none of this is going to really fit in that thing, is it? So whatever I need, it's definitely not here. Can't talk to him. There's nothing else I can really interact with. So I think I need to go back to East Venice. Which is mildly annoying because I just came from there. 
not allowed to reply to your own messages? Oh, no. Was that taxi number 69? Is that what I just saw? Fly past? Because if so. There's got to be something back near the beginning. Well, not the beginning, the beginning, but, you know. In the only other area of the city I can go to. But where am I going to find some kind of square key? Block. Nothing there. I know there's nothing at the cafe except bread. So the only other place that I can even visit is the border house. I don't expect that I'm going to find a key to a security lamp electricity box thing here, but eh, you never know. Hey, do you happen to have the key to an electric box on the other side of town? Hi. Yes? I have to get going. No, you've got nothing for me. Take care of you. Take care of yourself out there, darling. I'm British. Can I take the coffee table? It's square. Emma picked this table up at a flea market for $10 last month. That's $9 more than it's worth. Wow. Judgy much? I think it's a nice coffee table. No square keys here. Where the hell am I going to find a square key? I don't have one. I'm legitimately at a loss. Like, nothing I can think of makes sense. It's one of those. Point-and-click adventure games love to do this. It's just like, you need a thing. How do I get the thing? Ah, right, you gotta find the monkey. What do I do with the monkey? Did you see the banana? I didn't see a banana. Where's the banana? It's underneath this pile of stuff in the office. What office? The place that you never went into. Why didn't I go there? Because the door is hidden. Like, nonsense like that. I worry about the exhibit. I worry about things, too. But do you hear me complaining about them all the time? No. I just suffer and then throw up. Let me know if you want to know anything. If you could point me in the general direction of a square key <laughs> without specifically saying, hey, it's right here. If you can, like, give me a some kind of hint, because I have no idea where the fuck anything. It's in a subway station. That would make sense. That would make much more sense than trying to find it in my apartment or at the cafe. I forgot that there is an actual subway station that I can hang out in. Which means it must be more important. Not to the subway, not to the park. Run to the subway. Run, April. Run with your 2,000 my pants are too tight pants. That's why her legs don't go very far when she runs, because it's the 2,000 my pants are too tight pants. Okay. Printed leggings. There's sparks here. There's a high voltage cable running parallel with the rail, and something's gotten stuck between them. Uh -huh. Looks like a large iron key. Uh huh. Right. Can I put on the glove? Can I use the glove on this? It's mostly whole. Glove on key? No. 
can I just take? I'm going to save the game real quick before I go grabbing at a key that is very clearly electrified. Stick your hand right on it. What I'd have to get down there to reach it with my hands, but with that frayed high voltage cable. I didn't brush my teeth this morning just so I could be fried bacon with a pretty smile. I'll have to find some other way to get the key. <sighs> well, that's what we have bread for. Just smack it with some bread. Here, bread. Bread the key. Why are you going there? Alright, that's clearly not allowed. Fine. Right, I need... Here, can you, you grab that for me? Can you get electrified and hand me the thing? No? Okay. How to grab... Thing. Late 90s adventure game mechanics can get real obtuse. Oh, yeah. Very much. Can I... Combine this glove with anything. Anything at all. You don't have what you need. Oh. Can't combine the glove with anything anyway. Okay. <clears throat> so I need something to grab a key out of here without getting electrified. And it's clearly not in the subway. Yeah, please refund me the charge of going to the subway because I didn't actually do anything. Commemorative plaque. That's not going to help me. Don't have what you need to repair the glove. Yeah. You need like a needle and something. Thread? Rubber? Where do I find more rubber? Reverb, sneeze, 10 out of 10. There we go. <clears throat> Bless, thank you. 10 out of 10. Full reverb sneeze. I was fine all day, and then, like, just before stream, for some reason, my nose was just like, you need to sneeze. Forever. And I've sneezed, like, 10 times before stream. And I've had, like, the vague itching the entire time so far. All right, nothing here. Canvas. Art books. Bookshelf. Nice. Very Van Goghish. Nothing. Anything upstairs? If I'm going to find something to fix a glove, it's got to be... I mean, I can take these, but... I'm not going to do much, I think. That's how I make more art. Nope. Take this. Grab this. Combine it with that? No. Fine. Be that way. Acrylic and oil paints. Paint. More paint. Canvas. Oh, God. Book. Some books on color. Composition and... I'll just leave my brush and easel here before I go. Uh, not allowed to take it with me? Bullshit. What if I want to make art along the way? You can't confine art to one location. You can't put art in a box. You know what happens if you put art in a box? You get marketing. Where the hell do I find anything to fix anything? There's nothing here! Speaking of marketing, I need to learn Illustrator. Whoa, good luck. I know nothing about Illustrator. You can give me a pointer? God, yes. God, yes. Because I have not seen anything that I can take. 
except for those paints. And I'm not allowed to take them with me. How does one repair a glove when there's nothing to repair a glove with? So then I'm just wandering around from place to place. Something trapped under a grill in the canals. I didn't even see it. This is very much going to be one of those games. I understand. All right, so I need to look at everything everywhere. Something trapped in a grill. These are the canals, right? But there's nothing to touch. <laughs> ah! Nothing there. There's these two. Can't do anything with you. There's a clock. I can't even walk to that. <clears throat> that doesn't take me anywhere. That takes me home. One of the two for the in contention for the worst part of the game. Ooh, okay, then I'm very glad you're here. Very glad you're here to help me. Cause I'm gonna need it. April, where the hell are you going? Come this way. Walk over here. There we go. Okay. That's a good main character. Who's a good main character? Walking towards the screen. Okay, I've gotten you here. Come on up this way. We'll go to the next screen. If there's any kind of grate here. Thingy! Don't. Rust is the very definition of Venetian architecture. Think of San Francisco without the hills, Paris without the cafes, Venice wouldn't be the same without the rust. It would be better, but not the same. New York without the rats. All right, well that that's not a that didn't help me. Machine. <clears throat> I haven't looked over at this. What? 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 The water tanks full. What? What? what a mystifying contraption and completely absurd. What are all these valves and wheels and thingamajigs for? What grand purpose does it all serve? I don't know, but let's touch them. Mystifying. That's touched all of the things. You won't budge. Oh. The pressure's probably too high. We'll undo the clamp. Oh. It seems the clamp served a purpose after all. Okay. What a surprise. So can't remove the clamp. Can't turn mystify. the wheel. Mystifying, 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 mystifying. Cables. The Touch cables em. are too far apart to tie them back together. Looks like a big piece of cable was torn off. Mmm. Mystifying. Do I have any kind of nope? Can I? If I do this, can I then... Nope, not allowed to go into my inventory during that. Okay. <clears throat> I was gonna, like, stick the gum on that and kind of flex tape it. Whether or not it would flex tape it, I'm not sure. I guess that's a pressure gauge. It's I guess you're right. That's percent, I guess. 100% pressure? It is all of the pressure. It is under so much pressure. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. It's just like life. Matchbook, work glove, <clears throat> hard candy. I don't have anything that's like a conductor for tying the cables together. Unless bread. Bread? No. Ah! Hold on. I'm getting a phone call. I have to put you on the BRB screen. So hold on, everybody. 
Gotta put you there. I'll be back in just a bit. This is important. Sorry about that. Oh, God. And now my headphones are only coming in on one ear. Everything is falling apart lately. One sec. And here I thought I was free of the technical issues, but no, no, instead it's worse. Ah, hold on. Okay, uh, everything is completely broken now. My parent, that was my mother calling me to thank me for the birthday gift that I sent her. And just by, here's the power that my parents have, just by taking a phone call from them, literally everything has broken. 
I cannot hear much of anything now. Uh, my audio is completely fucked up. And I can hear myself now, but I can't hear like anything else. Also, I'm I'm ridiculously loud for some reason, and I don't know why. And I think uh, I think I can fix something. Is that there? That's that's that fixed. Ah, <sighs> no, it's my headphones. Input is only coming in on one ear. And so I just kind of adjusted the cable because this has been an issue that I have had before now to try to fix it. And in doing so, everything that the cable was connected to stopped having audio. So the Elgato is mixed, uh, messed up. OBS is messed up. Everything is messed up. But I can hear myself. So maybe we can, like, do something as long as I don't do... Any of the other things. I can hear the blips of the game. That cable's been ripped in two. Okay, I can hear that. My, I can hear myself. I think that's enough that I can, like, get through some more stuff. Ha, <sighs> okay. Maybe. Maybe, maybe if things were different in life, this wouldn't have happened. But does anybody think ahead? No. Okay. <clears throat> what can I do? What can I mess with? Is this even the thing that I can mess with? That's the next question. <laughs> There's a thing stuck in a thing. Machine is probably it, because that's the only thing I can think of. Hmm. But what else is going to go? Oh, this is, I'm still only getting the audio in one ear. It is just really messing loud. me up right now. <laughs> Ah, uh, so this might end up being a shorter stream because now I'm going to have to go and fix all kinds of things. Close to where I need to be. Okay. So there's a thingy that I can't do anything with. There's a machine that I can't really do anything with. What else? What else is there? At the canals. Apparently the worst part of the game. To the bridges is the only other thing that I seem to be able to interact with. So I probably have to go to the bridges. Right? The bench? Just a wooden bench. But I can do something to the bench. Just a wooden bench. No, 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 no. Colder? Oh. And I can sit. That's important. So it's in the border house area, it seems. Machine. It's not this. It's not the it's thingy. It's a rusty thingy. It's a thingy. It doesn't let me interact with it. I can inter I can look at the mural. That doesn't help me with anything. Alarm. Alarm? I'm going to touch the alarm. Whoops. 
Was that me? Nobody cared. Okay. That's fine. <clears throat> uh, what else we got? Bench. That's just to the bridges. Liz said colder when I went there. So I don't think that's it. Uh, there's like nothing for me to click on. Is it on this screen? Liz? Help. Am I at least on the correct screen that it's supposed to be here near the border house? Because there's nothing. Ooh, pipes. If there's one thing Venice has enough nope, of, it's you're rusty. Just talking about it. I am not on the correct screen. So it is at the bridges. But it's not the bench. This way. Nothing here. But the machine was close to where I need to be. God, I'm pixel hunting now. Clock? From what no. I've been, from what I've been... From what I've been told, things happened in the past, but the past is the future. You opened this earlier, but didn't look through it. You say that like I remember what the hell I've done. There was a thing by the cafe. Why can't I go to the cafe? Game? From what I've been told. I can't go to the subway. It was one of the first things that I ever did. It's kind of unsettling to be so aware of myself all the time. You walked Big you surprise. walked for a second. Why here. why are you stuck? Oh my god. Load game. Yes. <laughs> Load game. Okay. I got completely stuck and she refused to move. That was fun. It was one of the first things you ever did. What? Say that like I know what the hell I've done. I don't even remember this morning. I think I need a new headphone cable. Getting that wonderful mono earphone action. Not even earphone, these are big. Teddy, where did you start the game? I started the game here! In my room! I began here. Empty cardboard box. Bunch of useless old dr my suitcase. Where did I open a thing? One of the first things you did, but you didn't look through it. Books. I don't read much, but I believe it's important to maintain an intellectual facade. It's my diary. Can't examine the diary anymore. Or actually, here we go. But that's not going to help me. That's not looking through the thing. One of the first things I did, I opened a window. I closed the window. I reopened the window. I look out the window now that it's open. Ah! Duck. 
I still haven't figured out what runs through the canals in Venice, but I'm sure it can't be water. It's poop. That's it's no a burb. seagull. Poor guy looks quite hungry. Well, you shouldn't be trying to get things in the poop river. It's a rusty old grill, kept afloat by a rubber ducky. Oh, because it's a rubber duck. I, still I get out what it. Runs I get it. Venice, I understand. It's a understand. rubber ducky, okay. helplessly trapped under that rusty old grill. Okay. So how do I catch the rubber ducky? Chain. I don't know what that chain's for, but it's connected to some kind of mechanism at the bottom of the canal. Pull it. Well, that didn't help me. Clothesline. It's a clothesline. It is a clothesline. Oh, I freed it. But then what? What can I throw at it? Can I throw a dart at it? No. How to collect Robert Ducky? Spiky. Where is this? Can I it's a get to this? Line. It's a clothesline. And then pull the clothesline up and then use it to grab onto something. Or can I use the chain somehow? I mean, I'm probably able to, like, grab that somewhere. Because I don't think anything else is going to do what I want. So let's go check and see if I can pull up the clothesline. Which is... It's a pretty mural. No, I don't want to look at the mural. I want to come over here. I don't think I can. I think it's like behind here. Yeah, I think it's the other side of the building. So it would be something that I'd need to do in that screen. But what can I do? How can I connect things? It's a clothesline. Yeah, I already undid the clothesline, so that's not good. It's a rubber ducky, helplessly, helplessly trapped, trapped under that under rusty grill. old grill. But I can't get to that. I don't know where the other end of the clothesline is to pull it up and grab things with. I can't do anything with that because it's connected to something. Late 90s adventure games, what the hell were you thinking? Can't put gum on a chain. I figured that would be the easiest way to grab a thing. Can't use matches, can't use hard candy. Like, none of that makes sense. This is what I need to combine with the rubber duck in order to get the full glove. Our diary, hat, none of this makes sense for using for this. Spiky. I, I feel like I it's would a need... Seagull. Poor guy looks quite hungry. Actually, don't worry, it doesn't make sense. Cool. Fantastic. Bread. Bread on the duck. Because the seagull's hungry.
And then you popped it. Good. Okay. Clank? Clank? The grill is almost completely submerged in that. And I use this term quite liberally. Liquid. Huh. Uh-oh. Ads are starting soon. Can I... Can I do thing? Brace yourselves. Ah, the ad is gonna... The ad's beginning. Hold on to your butts. I can't snooze it. It is too late to snooze. They're happening. So we're putting that on. The problem is, I don't have music now. Because the Elgato doesn't want to play things properly. Oh! No, it works! It works now! Why does it work now? It didn't work before! Why does everything have to break? Why, why can't I just have day without a million miles of stress? Okay. Those of you who can hear me, the ads will be over in like two minutes. Those of you who can't, you already know this because you're looking at an ad timer. Stand up, stretch. We're going to play a little bit more and then I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to do a little bit more and then We'll find somewhere to send you to, and then I will just scream into the night at this point. <laughs> Stand up and stretch. Welcome back. So it's not the headphones themselves. It is... I have an extra long cable that goes from my PC to where I sit, basically. Because the distance from the headphone jack to where I am is a bit longer than the actual uh, cable for the headphones. So I have an uh, extension thing. And it has been in the same position for so long that it's kind of, I guess, it has started from bending over on itself. It's starting to go. And I've had to, like, readjust it so that things come through on both ends. I'm just going to need to get a new extension. Another thing that I need to get because everything keeps breaking. I'm having a time. <laughs> from last week to this week, 
everything is just breaking and I am under a lot of stress. And it's only going to get worse as the end of the year gets closer. Because that means I have to deal with my family more and more, who, as of like the past couple of years, I, I do not like <laughs> just at all. So like parents calling me now immediately boosted my stress level. And then this is going on and then that broke. Which is why I'm I'm probably just going to go for like a little bit longer and then just like go offline and scream. Like they they have been told many times why I have been upset with them and they just can't fathom that they could have done anything wrong at all. I'm not going to go into the details because it involves uh uh, death triggers and stuff like that, so I don't want to, you know, go into all that all the time. But I'm, I'm gonna be big mad for the rest of my life. That's all. <laughs> Just believe it at that. Believe it at that. Believe it at that. Let's continue with this game, shall we? All right. There's a duck now. Can I pull this? Now it's not connected. Things. I can. What the heck did I just pull up? Clothesline. Oh, I collected the clothesline. Weird, but okay. I'm going to save again because I don't trust anything. And somewhere out here is going to be a rubber ducky. Then I can combine with the gloves to get a full glove, to get a key, to open up an electric box, to finally get into the place that I need to get to. I'm assuming it's out here. There it is. I know that duck. Bon voyage, ducky. But I need that duck. But, but it's made of rubber. That was that was the rubber. Wasn't it? Or do I combine with this with this? Or with this? Ah! Or do I use the clothesline on the thing? Hmm. Can I combine this with literally anything? To make like some kind of hook? To hook onto the key. No. Okay. Is the duck actually gone? I wanted the rubber from that duck. I could have sworn that was going to be the solution. It's made of rubber. The glove is rubber. Rubber on rubber make rubber. Did it beach itself over here? It did. Give me that. You certainly didn't flow in this direction, but that's close enough, I guess. Okay. Oh my god, if my phone does not stop. <laughs> rubber ducky with work glove rubber ducky with sticky candy with clothesline are you joking me but but do I need to, something to cut it with <clears throat> also why am I Low bitrate? What is happening here? Why is my FPS dying on me? Probably just this screen. Too much water. You need to look at it. Okay. Okay, yeah, it's just that screen. Too much flowing water. Things are not happy. It is old. Oh! Are you joking me? Band-Aid? Really?
The duck's inflated. Not for long. The duck's inflated. I hear the air leaving. Band-Aid, TM. It wasn't even the rubber from the duck. It was the Band-Aid on the glove. Duck's dead. Duck died. Rip duck. We'll miss you, duck. We'll hold on to your corpse for as long as we can. And take you back to camp. Use you in necromatic spells. Raise your corpse to fight with us. That's what ducks are for. The pure evil of a duck. Okay. Back at the subway. Back at it again at the Krispy Kreme. Please let me use the glove. Thank you. That on key. Where are you going? Use. I can. Do I have to put it on? What are you doing? All right, that's not allowed, apparently. Use this on that? No. What? I have a rubber glove. Looks like a large iron key. Yes, it does. And I need to grab it with a rubber glove. Which I just clicked on five times and it didn't even open the menu. You need the duck to grab it. Are you fucking kidding? Are you joking me? Oh my god. Okay, duck. Click the duck. How many times do I need to click the duck before it gives me the menu to do things to the duck? One. I click it once and, and my frame rate's going. I'm I'm getting mad. Not at the game, just at life right now. Game. Click the tube. There we go. Blow the tube. Okay. Very quickly, before it deflates. Use duck. Can't use duck. Holy shit. Okay. Clothesline the duck. Sticky candy. Let me use the sticky candy! Click, click, click! How many times do I need to click before it opens the menu? One, two, three, four. There we go. Use that on the duck. Can't use it on the duck. Blow the duck. Don't say it. Okay. Stick candy. One, two, three. There we go. Three clicks. Stick candy on the thing. Look at the duck. Use stick candy on the hole. Why? It's the sticky candy. It's gotta be there, right? That's the thing. The duck's inflated. The duck's inflated. How do I keep the duck from deflating? I swear to God. I'm gonna lose my mind. Duck, I'm gonna stab you with the pincushion thing that I have. Make more holes in you. Am I doing the right thing? Am I thinking of the right thing? Or am I wrong somehow? Inflate the duck and sticky candy the duck?
putting the band-aid back on the dock. Rubber glove. Patched up and good as new. I can't. I cannot. Rubber glove. Patched up and good as new. But I'm not supposed to be able to soft lock. So then you aren't soft locked, okay. But you are deflated. I can't see sticky candy you. I'm not particularly hungry. Can't do anything else with the sticky candy to make it stickier. I need the clamp. Oh. So if I need the clamp, then I have to go back this way, and I do need to do something with the machine. All of this is just to open a single box. We have made a whole one screen of progress today. And I have gotten nothing but five million miles of stress about various things. Okay, I have a clamp. I don't think I can stick candy this. No. If I take that, can I move the wheel oh. before it goes? No. It seems the clamp served a purpose after all. Hm, what a surprise. So the clamp clamps that down. Closed line on it? To tie it off? No. This is a puzzle. It doesn't what tell me anything about the puzzle. And completely absurd. What are all these valves and wheels and thingamajigs for? What grand purpose does it all serve? I don't know. That's the problem. Oh, we got the cables. I need to figure out how to connect the cables. Closed line should not work because it's a different material? Correct. Ah. Uh... But perhaps the gold ring can be tied to both I ends hope it of it. Doesn't melt or anything. Hey, hey. There we it's go. It's alive. Okay, gold ring did a thing. Right screw, left screw. Can't do anything with these, so I need to mess with the screws to lower the pressure so that I can take the clamp. it? No. So I probably need to do all four? Oh! Oh! I think I get it. I think I get it. I do... kind of... oh dear, except I have it backwards. It doesn't matter which one it's on now. Actually, maybe. No, because there's still the one that is... red, which is lit up. Oh, 
Okay. I have three of them like that. Right. I'm making it worse. I'm making it much worse. I got it. I figured it out. That was impossible. <laughs> I couldn't say what I was doing because I still don't exactly know what I did. But I needed to get it so that one was horizontal so that I get everything else horizontal so all of them could be apparently closed-ish? It won't budge. I can't the turn the wheel. Okay. That's I guess that's a great. It's at one hundred, mystifying. So the machine is good now. But the valves like they're all it feels like those should be valves that are now closed, but apparently not. So maybe I can Without the ring, I won't be able to use this, um, oh, machine. Okay. I'll leave it until I finished whatever it is I'm doing here. So I can't take the clamp, because there's still too much pressure. Good news, your mouse is breaking. Everything is breaking today. My mind, my headphones, your mouse. And I'm not going to have the time to fix anything because I, like, as soon as I'm done streaming, I basically have to go to sleep and then go to work and then I stream tomorrow. And just, there's no, there's no free time. None, none whatsoever. Ah. Uh, okay. How do I turn the pressure? It won't budge. The pressure's pressure is probably too, too high. high. That's the pressure the gauge. That's the water tank. Water tank is full. Can't do anything with anything else. Oh, valve. Okay. Turn the wheel. Okay. Didn't know I could interact with this valve. Take clamp. Take clamp. No showers for anyone anymore. Exactly. They're all gonna stink. I'm not leaving my gold ring. Somebody's going to have to replace that cable eventually. Machine done. Exit. Do I combine you with it? That I combine won't do you with any good. I need something tight to keep the clamp open. What? Okay. That won't do any good. I need something tight to keep the clamp open. So there's a... a I, what, what am I... What? Why do you say that it combines with the duck, then? It combines with the rope, and then the it shines on the duck. I need something tight to keep the... Oh... But the duck's gonna deflate. So it's like a limited time. What the hell? It's a limited time thing. This is stupid. 
This is dumb. And eventually the duck's gonna deflate and then it's just gonna be there. And now the duck is just there. This is what happens. This is the pain that we all have to go through. My children, do you understand? Do you understand the stupid pain? Okay. Are you joking me? When I was a wee lass, I tried fishing a couple of times in the pond behind my house, but I never caught anything. I hope my luck's improved. But the duck deflated. Game doesn't care that the duck deflated. No, the clamp's closed. I won't be able to pull the key up. But... Deflated duck. Oh. Oh. Clamp. Use. On. Key. Fish. For. Key. With inflated duck. I got it. That's we have cool succeeded fact. at the dumbest possible puzzle. And now I have a key. It's a large iron key. No! Oh, I missed the doors. Don't you hate when that happens? I have to wait for the next one. Come on. Open. Let me go to the next place. Let me go back to where I was trying to go. So that I may use this key and open the door and do something with the marquee. Okay, run, run, run to the theater, run. Go. 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 We're on borrowed time. Okay. Fuse box. Open. Here we have big iron key, which is apparently one size fits all for all city improvements. And then we have this wonderful puzzle, which is, oh boy. Hi, can I put this on? Can I use this? Cause, gosh dang. I think I broke it. Dang, more key! Light up! Hell, it gone dead on me now. I'm going to have to fix that sign proper this time round, uh-huh. I just need me a ladder and some tools from the basement. And that gets him out of the way. and possibly opens the alley. Watch as he walks into the darkness, into the barely textured area, and seemingly floats away. It's locked. Why must everything be locked? 
I guess I'm going into the alleyway after him. Oh. Fun. Okay. This seems like the moment. We're going to do creepy alleyway next time. Because I I have things to fix on my PC now because apparently I can't go five minutes without some kind of technical issue right now. And I have to I have to get up early for work and I'm stressed out because I'm thinking about all the stuff that's coming up for things. So I'm gonna go. <laughs> Let me see where I can send you all to for the evening, though. There is stuff coming up as always. If you check things out here tomorrow, basically, we're going to try to do what we tried to do last week. So wish me luck that my computer actually holds on to all of the settings that I want and doesn't give me any more issues than this headphone thing. Because the headphone thing I can at least deal with. I just need to not mess with it during the stream. But as long as that doesn't give me any other issues, as long as I don't have any weird bodily issues, then we should actually be able to do the things that I have wanted to do this week that I wasn't able to do last week or the week before because my life is hell. Uh, let me see where I'm going to send you to, though. For the evening, uh, I believe... Yes. Yes, it is happening. I want to send you there. She does not need my raid. <laughs> Because she's got tons of people anyway. But I know where I want to go. And so I'm going to send you there. Uh, I'm going to send you to Roach Mom. New V Shoujo streamer. Who. If you follow VTubers. You probably recognize stuff. So. Uh, I'm going to send you to Roach Mom. Feel free to message Mike. And all that. Uh, like. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to call my mother on her birthday. I told her that on the phone. Just like. I, I, you never call. I'm going to call you on your birthday. <laughs> and want to call. <laughs> so I'm going to send you to Roach Mom. Uh, be good. Be nice. Toss crab slams in the chat. Say hello. And I will see you all hopefully tomorrow for some Power Wash Simulator as long as nothing explodes. With that, I'm going to go. Enjoy your evening. See you later. <laughs>